Decentraland is an entire virtual world that runs on blockchain technology. It's pretty cool. You can own land in this virtual world that will be yours forever. Uh, watch this video through to the end because at the end I've linked to some videos of people doing all the kinds of things that you can do in this virtual world. Um, but for more about Decentraland, I'll let Esteban explain further. Well, uh, thanks for coming on today. And I was trying to, in my own mind, summarize Decentraland in a sentence or two. But I, I couldn't really come up with anything. Could you uh, give us an idea of what, what this is? Yes. Uh, so Decentraland is a virtual reality world uh, where we have a shared space between all the users that are connected to the virtual reality world. And what the content that you see in this world is created by the users and owned by the users. Uh, if you go to, like, we divide the world in different coordinates, like uh, land parcels, and each land parcel has a, an owner, and ownership is determined using a blockchain. And in that blockchain, we also store the information about what kind of buildings are there, or applications, or uh, Everything that you can see and how can you interact with uh, is the is defined in this uh, in this blockchain. So, is uh, the ownership is that the key difference in this to uh, you know make it different from something like Second Life or what's what's the difference there? Exactly, in Second Life uh, you have, uh, for example, Linden Labs, which is the company running it, and they define what the contents are based on their central servers. With the central land, uh, there is no such uh, central authority that can uh, govern over who gets uh, which parcels of land. So that's cool. So what, what can you do with your land that you, that you own in Decentraland? So right now we are limited to static 3D sculptures and buildings. Uh, you can also uh, set up uh, custom textures for the primitives, the cubes and cylinders and all the 3D objects that you can create. But we are envisioning a scripting system to add movement to those uh, structures and at interactions and items that you can interact with and move around the world. So is there an, um, an in-world economy? I guess, could you just explain in general how the, the currency side of this plays into everything? Yes. Um, so there are two aspects to it. Uh, the, the land ownership will be created through uh, paying to a distributed autonomous organization, uh, something similar to what the guys at Aragon are doing. And you can buy land from this DAO, and that land becomes yours, and nobody can take that away from you. Uh, the DAO decides how to spend that money probably in further development of the protocol and the tools and the editor and uh, in improving uh, on the tools and interactions that you can have with the land. So that's one aspect, one economic aspect of it. And the other aspect is that this is a scripting system that allows you to interact with land and uh, with items inside of the virtual reality world. Uh, we'll also support a micropayment system uh, based on payment channels or the Lightning Network. We're still figuring out because all those technologies are in a very early stage. But we are confident that, that we can build that. Uh, we used to, a couple of years ago, we launched Streamium, which was one of the first uh, micropayment uh, channel uh, technologies out there. And in it, we, you could uh, pay for each second of video being streamed um, by setting up a payment channel between the viewer and the content uh, and the consumer. Uh, in that way, if the video is 
is not of good quality or if it's not what you were expecting, you could close and stop paying for the payment channel. And on the other side, if the client stopped, stops paying you, then you could stop streaming video to that client. Well, that's a really cool concept. Uh, yeah, and it's all decentralized, and the blockchain serves as an arbiter in there. So there's no middleman, and there are no fees or no no cuts. Yeah. So so you had mentioned the um, you know the currency in decentralized funding further development of the platform uh, in a certain sense. So what what is the roadmap going forward? You said currently there's 3D models that you can build with textures. Further development going to look like. So um, we set up the center land uh, as a series of small experiments, so we could learn along the way about the different concepts. Right now, what we have is our own blockchain, uh, and in this in this blockchain, we already have land ownership. Um, we are moving that towards an Ethereum smart contract. Uh, that will save us a lot of development on the blockchain aspects of it and by piggybacking on all the infrastructure that the Ethereum already has. Um, we are going to issue a near C20 token named uh, MANA, and the purpose of that token is to be able to buy land. So if you buy a lot of MANA, you are essentially uh, uh, reserving yourself the right to claim a large area of uh, parcels on top of which you can build. Um, the current uh, state is that you can only have the static uh, objects, but uh, the, in the future you will also be able to add behavior to all that, being able to so on top of the central and interact with other other users, chat with them, pay them, pay to the owner of land to play some game or something like that. We also envision that it can serve as a storefront to download other applications. So you can also see use cases where, for example, I have a museum of 3D virtual reality experiences and uh, I can get to download or pick which game do I want to try. Uh, essentially building some kind of uh, Steam store in a decentralized way with no middleman. Yeah, that's a really cool concept. Um, I really love like escape room games, and I can see that being a cool thing in an environment like that. So. Um, yeah. So with this mana, could I become like a huge land over, landowner and, and rent land to other people and things like that as well? Yeah, we are envisioning stuff like uh, a Times Square inside of the center land where uh, a bunch of people are gathering around uh, particular areas with a lot of fancy buildings and structures and things that cut up your eye. And you explore around those areas and gather along with your friends, also serving as a launching mechanism for shared experiences and the communication uh, layer for other games to launch in teams. Yeah, that's really cool. So um, what, what devices will this support eventually? And what devices are you on now? Right now, we have a web viewer. We're about to launch uh, desktop viewers for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Everything is built on top of Unity, which is something which allows us to prototype very quickly. We also have a build for the HTC Vive, the uh, VR headset. Um, but we wanted to be able to be run with Samsung Galaxy VR on all the mid-range VR systems that are out there, like the Google Daydream and, uh, well, the cardboard is a little bit limited. So we are trying to focus on, on uh, higher range uh, virtual reality headsets. And I think that in the next few years, the cost of them is going to decrease a lot. 
And our idea is that everybody could join the center land without having to spend a couple thousand dollars in a gaming machine and a couple thousand dollars in the VR headset. Yeah, that'd, that'd be really nice. So um, for people that are seeing this and, and very interested, I'm, can you go to the website now and look through the web viewer? Yes, right now the URL is decentraland.org. We are we currently have uh, the VR viewer in decentraland.org slash app. And uh, we are going to launch uh, an easier experience to build with an interface similar to Minecraft. Uh, so, so you can play around a little bit without downloading the software to create your own structures and more advanced content, uh, which currently needs Unity and also running your own blockchain node. Cool. So, for the people out there that realize this is, you know, potentially the future of of VR games and stuff, how can they get out there and get involved? Where does your team hang out online? Contact. Oh, we have a Slack going on uh, uh, with a, a bunch of uh, users that are act actively uh, thinking about all the stuff that you can build. Uh, the URL is slack.decentraland.org. From the main page, uh, there are also a couple of links to that Slack. And uh, I, we are welcoming a lot of, uh, we're onboarding a lot of users each day. And the conversation is uh, is becoming more interesting day by day. So, are there people in there that share building tips and things like that as well? Yeah, some community members have been building, teleporting. Uh, they've been building structures uh, that are sitting in the virtual reality world, uh, sharing ideas for new uh, new kind of things that you could build on top of that um, it's uh, and also uh, determining uh, whether we want uh, the land to decay over time because if you buy a bunch of land and never maintain it we could have empty spots that uh, that will look somewhat uh, somewhat odd in the future so uh, there's a lot of uh, things that are being discussed by the community and we are following that those decisions.